lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. Tail the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is three years his senior. He is five inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of World. If he's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the cannon. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as you've ever seen in the UFC. really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch nice punch there <laughs> trying to hammer that lead leg Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. 
Just misses there with the left. Single collar tie now. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice. It's such a fast leg kick. Battle for position here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And he landed the right hand there. And he switches to southpaw. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming in. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, he heard a bell in the jab. Ooh, big shot, man. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lands with the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Well, missed on that one. Beautiful straight counter. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Real quick leg kick. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, huge head kick. making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Come on, man. Let's get that take down. Score some points. Yeah. Huge block there. Good punch land. That was a thudding leg kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. A little single collar tie there. Left hand punch from the clinch. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Five minutes in the books. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, 
and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Choi gets caught with that punch. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Checks that leg kick. Nice counter shot there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big power shot there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. Pretty good right hand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. Not want that. No one wants uh, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. You got to check these low leg kicks. Next with a right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Slow it down. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Big clinch position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. A swing and a miss by Choi. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Connects now with the one-two. Nice job of hiding that head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Got the single collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Yeah. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ten minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. 
high-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch land. him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice kick. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storr. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Got Cliff with the right hand. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, huge kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. Another clinch position. Look for a level change as he tries to secure a takedown. Back and forth we go! Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at the turtle in that kick. Throws the right hand there. Leg kick. Oh! Oh, straight right! Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And a miss with the right hook. Nice. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Overhand left. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Joy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, single collar tie now. Back and forth we go. Big head kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Whiffs on that offering. Nice head kick. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Great punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, block the shot. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. A oh, little single collar tie there. He lands a switch knee. Visibly limping here. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Oh, that's a good right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. The Korean Superboy going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That one snuck in. Nice strike. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, single collar tie here. We march on, three minutes to go. Got the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Well, he misses with the left punch there. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice stupid punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Big leg kick lands. Good punch. Beautiful hand skills here. The right then the left. 90 seconds remain in the round. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. How good is that right hand? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Punch over the top. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Lands the right hand. Just misses with that one. 20 seconds left. Final seconds here. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch by Short. Back and forth we go here. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Try to establish that jab. There's no give on that leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch, Lance. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Flush right hand is true. Big head kick land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, what a punch. A beautiful counter punch, really settling in when to his counterattack here tonight, and again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Leg kick check by Choi. Oh, nice right hand. How about that shin? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big kick land. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big roundhouse now, just misses. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finisher? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Single collar tie now. Nice kick. He lands with the left. Blocks the shot. Nice strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Head kick. 
kick. Nice counter left hook to the head. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice one-two combination there. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh starting to show signs of bruising. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice knee to the midsection there. Big kick lands. Lands flushed with that right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Pretty good straight punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. 20 seconds left. Straight punch lands. Nice leg kick lands. Final seconds of this fight. Big kick lands. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected, 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion, because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Played the winner by unanimous decision, and still. as hard a title to hold down as there is in the UFC, but mission accomplished for the champion here tonight. Congratulations, he is still the undisputed UFC lightweight